Aloha. Welcome from Cluster B Free Karen. Intentional healing. Being around narcissistic and toxic people, it's draining and damaging. You actually have measurable brain damage. If you've been around a narcissist for any particular time, you're being gaslit. They lie. They revise history. They tell you you didn't see what you just saw. You didn't hear what you just heard. Oh no, you misunderstood. You don't you don't understand. No, you're too thin-skinned. I was just kidding. Wow, you're just so sensitive when they give you these little hurting and cutting remarks. Oh, that looks nice on you. I bet if you lost a little more weight, it would look kind of okay. These are the things that hurt and pick away with you. Pick away with your peace, your confidence, your security. You're sitting there, nothing's bothering you. Maybe you're even laughing at something on television or something you're, what are you laughing at? What's so funny? Oh, that ain't funny. They can't stand it. You've got joy. You've got happiness. You're not upset. You're not anxious. In a little while, you will be. You'll be walking on eggshells. You'll be afraid to laugh at something you're reading. You'll be afraid to share your good news from work because they're just going to poo-poo it. They're going to invalidate it. You wind up keeping news to yourself. You can't make phone calls to your own family. Or when they call, you pretend you can't talk. Or you get up and go to the next room, suddenly have to go to the bathroom. Because if you're around the narcissist, what are you guys talking about? Oh, you're talking about me. They get paranoid. Or they want to join in on the phone call. They insist on remarking, well, what did he just say? What did she say? And then they've got to be a part of it. There is intentional healing. So you're foggy minded now. Thoughts are slow. You can't remember things. You start to go do something and you can't remember what it is. You're like, hey, I'm only 42. It can't be Alzheimer's. You're in your 60s. That's what you think it is. You think you've got actual problems. Well, you do, but the good news is it's repairable. Learn something new. Put on music. Dance. Get outdoors. Get around people who are not narcissistic and toxic. And keep it secret. Join a gym. Go out if you're able to. If you can't, go out on YouTube. Look at new things. Learn a language. Read your Bible. Pray. Study. Meditate. All of these things will heal the brain damage. Learning something new will help get you clear. Get to Clubhouse. Watch your YouTubes with the live chats. Participate. Talk to other people. Find out you are not alone. You've been isolated only hearing the narc's voice. It gets very, very old, very, very repetitive, and always damaging. Set yourself free. Find like-minded people on Clubhouse. Find information on the internet. Google what's happening to you, and you'll find out not only are you not alone, but with mindful activities, you will heal. My brain's clear now. I've been free for a while. It only gets better. No contact works. Every time you run back into that person, you get set back a little bit. If you're stuck and you can't leave for whatever reason, then get those outside activities and don't let them know anything about it. Be mindful, be intentional, be cluster, be free. Aloha.